Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on my tutorial series on thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. We are on video number 9, and we're going to talk about Einstein solids number 2. The previous video to this, I discussed two set systems, and I'd just like to briefly, um, I'd like to briefly roll back on that, or not roll back, to summarize again on that. So, we worked out the multiplicity for a two state system for a single macro state is as follows. The macro state S with n heads, we'll say, is, is the following. So I'd just like to tell you why we, we, there's no macroscopic, there's no macroscopic factor. So if you think for quantum systems, we had, you broke up n sub 1 into macro state 1, n sub 2, the whole, uh, and n sub s into macro state s. So when we're looking at the multiplicities, we, we, had, we had it split up like this. Okay, and then we had to work out a way of putting, how many ways could we put n sub 1 in here, n sub 2, and, and whatever. But with the coins, there is only one way to do it, because you either put all the coins in, or you don't even have a macro state in the first place. So the point is here, so let's say the, let's say the occupancy of the S macro state was n, and the occupancy of the rest is zero. Or let's put all the coins in here, because we need all the coins in order to have the state in the first place. So the question, so the, it's a, the, the, the statement here is that either you choose all the coins or you don't. And there's only one way to choose all the coins. So there is no extra macroscopic factor to be multiplied by here because it's, it's one. Well, it, there is, and it's one. And as a result, we just choose to leave it out. And for the same reason, whereas with our quantum systems, we, in order to, to get the total multiplicity, we had to multiply all the systems together. So you might have had this. We don't with with this. So let's say we, we wanted to get the total multiplicity. This time it would be it would be written that like that. And the reason is the states for the two-state system the states are dependent, whereas for the quantum systems they were independent. And if they're independent, it just increases the multiplicity, of course. So enough of that. Let's move on to Einstein solids. An Einstein solid is where we treat the energy being stored in the solid as a series of oscillating atoms, each atom oscillating as a linear harmonic oscillator. So if you want to do look at my videos on quantum linear harmonic oscillators, you can. But basically we're saying the potential energy obeys Hooke's law. So we have one half kx squared. Simple as. Okay? And by the way, you can see that here's c and here's q squared if you want to look at the equipartition theorem. So this system ob obeys the equipartition theorem and has a half kT degree, uh, um, kinetic energy per degree freedom. So, the, because it's a quantum system, we'll say the energy is quantized. Okay, here are all our energy levels. And we know that the, the difference between energy levels is Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency. Alright, so the total energy is we'll say this quantum multiplied by the number of units of energy and I'm going to call that u. So from now on we can either analyze the system by looking at the total number of the total energy or by instead of looking at the, the quanta of energy. It's the same thing because we go from quanta to total energy by multiplying by this energy factor h nu. So what I'm going to try and do is th think about sharing a certain amount of energy between a certain number of harmonic oscillators. So let's say we have uh, three harmonic oscillators, A, B, and C. I want to share one unit of energy. Well, the only way to share one unit of energy is as follows. And we see that the multiplicity of one unit of energy is equal to three. If we look at the multiplicity of sharing two units of energy among three oscillators, then I can t I, you, know, I, you can do it yourself, but it's six. The multiplicity of sharing uh, three units of energy among three oscillators uh, that's uh, 3 units of energy among 3 oscillators is equal to 10. Alright? So, for the same reason as I, as I said with the coins, to go from choosing n units of energy uh, in a macroscopic way, you either choose all the units of energy or you don't. So the macroscopic multiplicity is equal to 1. Now, if, once you've chosen all the units of energy, the way you need to split up the energy among the individual oscillators. So we need to get the microscopic description. But if you think about it, we have there's a unit of energy, there's a unit of energy, there's a unit. These are indistinguishable particles. 
and what we're trying to do is split them up between a certain number of oscillators. So if you, if you think about it, these really are bosons. So I suggest that you look at my video where I discussed indistinguishable particles or the multiplicity for indistinguishable particles. And the way I did it was instead of looking at the states themselves, we look at the partitions and there are g sub s minus 1 partitions and there are n sub s particles. Or n sub s here is q and g sub s is equal to the number of uh, oscillators uh, minus 1. Like that. So the multiplicity, for the microscopic multiplicity, is going to be uh, q plus n minus 1 to be factorial divided by q factorial and n minus 1 factorial. To get the total number of microstates, then we sum over the microstates, which I won't do now. So this is the multiplicity for a single microstate. Now, I'd like to say one more thing, that n factorial is defined as n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. That means 1 factorial is equal to 1 multiplied by 0 factorial, but that's also equal to 1, therefore 0 factorial is equal to 1. That's something which is useful, I think. So, just before I finish, just to, to, to sum up again. An Einstein solid is where we, des we describe the energy being held in the system, or in the solid, as being held by capital N number of harmonic oscillators, linear harmonic oscillators. There are, there's only one microscopic way of partitioning all the energy, so their microscopic description or multiplicity is one. And then, when we look at the, uh, or macroscopic, excuse me, and we look at the microscopic way, the best way to do it is to look at, treat them as bosons, and we get the, this is the microscopic description for one of the macro, macro states. So that's all I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say about that for the moment. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to keep the videos as short as I can. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and if you're in a good mood, you might also click on an ad.